So, while stunning and brave Australians are unable to compete in the dating market and try to sell their b-hole for just a little bit of um, companionship on the internet, one man has decided to go where no other man has gone before, especially no incel, and looks max. This is Laplace Victim. He joined the Kiwi Farms to um, declare victory? I'm not really sure. I'll read his post, and we'll come to a conclusion about what this is. He says, Hello, subhumans. Admit it. The incels were right. Looks are truly the most important thing when it comes to dating. I am a former incel. When I was an incel, I admit that I was average in looks, and my neurodivergence was probably most responsible for my situation. However, the solution to my problem was not therapy or working on my personality. No, it was looks maxing that led me to lose my virginity. I was a virgin at 16 and now at 18. My body count is 17. Despite the fact that I am still neurodivergent with so-called incel brain, this is what I look like currently. I have read the incel thread on this forum, and it's clear that you Kiwi farmers are highly de delusional. Your dating advice comes, from, comes straight from the normie handbook. The solution is to improve your looks. In my case, I got really lean from 16% to 11% body fat. I started skincare routines, got a pretty boy haircut. It's called a broccoli haircut, so not a pretty boy haircut. Started chewing and mewing, which is probably cope, but the theories behind it seem legitimate. There are many other small changes, but these are the main ways I improve my appearance. This is what I look like pre-ascension, and he looks normal. Uh, if he looks more normal than in those pictures, there's a reason for that. I'll explain why. You're self-loathing neats who are in denial about being incels. Here's the faces of the notable Kiwi farmers look like. Um, and there's a picture of Dunsparce, who is married. I think Thoto is married. Kamov is married to Thoto. I don't know about Trump. I think she's just asexual. I don't even know if that's her, to be honest with you. I don't know if any of these people are him or who they are, except for CIA nigger. Um, that's definitely him. And me. That's definitely me. So I'm told. I don't know. He might have me dead rights, though. Uh, those who lead the forum represent the members. Thus, the most notable members of Kiwi Farm is likely to resemble the other members. One of the former moderators, Trombonista, is unironically a troon and a hideous one of that. No, she is not. Uh, this is ironic for a forum known for hating trannies. Is this why people think that? That the forum is ran by trannies? Trombonista is, is just a Jewish woman. <laughs> She's been around since longer than I have. Um, the lack of sexual dimorphism and poor health indicators among the notable members look are similar to the troons they mock. If someone posted a photo of Nolan claiming he was a trans man, Kiwi Farms members would start pointing out how poorly he passes. <laughs> look how round and feminine his head shape is, and his eyes are clearly female. Just look at the brow ridge. What about the space? What about the space between the eyes? Is that feminine? I think it is, even. Apparently, a biological <laughs> Let me give you some dating advice. Stop listening to the dating advice women give and instead look at the actions they take. Tinder experiments are a good way to assess what women actually want, bro. I know he's 18, but this is like, I don't know. I guess, I guess being 18 is an excuse for being so fucking dumb. This idea is similar concept to the discussed in the Malcolm Gladwell TED Talk. This guy's listening to fucking TED Talks. On how to, to get laid. Um, ba -ba -ba, Moskowitz. This is what women want. And then it's a broccoli boy. Um, okay, so the reason why he looks really different from his old picture is that his parents are loaded. His parents are very rich. And they've paid to give him um, cosmetic surgery. Uh, so the reason why he, he, I think some people speculated that it was Photoshop, but he later admits in his post that no, his parents are just absolutely cash out the ash rich. He has everything he could ever want. He has the final financial stability and toys that both women want and little girls at his age want. And he has the ability to go get um, 
whatever cosmetic surgery work that he needs done. And that's his secret. What's the secret to getting laid? Become vapid, spend money, get uh, cosmetic surgery, and then go on Tinder and find uh, dumb holes that just want to have sex and have sex with them. You too can follow this plan. Uh, I don't know. I've done it. This post is very funny. And I hope this kid uh, manages to grow up and doesn't kill himself. Because <laughs> he's, he's like very close to the Elliot Roger thing where there's there might be a point where he starts realizing that all these people he's surrounded with, her surrounded himself with, are like vapid. And he doesn't feel a real connection with any of them. And then if he tries to get into a relationship and he, his like autism and just the general way that he treats people, like repulses women he actually covets, um, that might make him a, a mass stabbing <laughs> perpetrator uh, in a shopping mall or something. Are we coping? Maybe. Broccoli haired aristocrat. He does look a lot like Elliot Rogers, especially, dude, especially in the, these pictures. It's like, did you just like hand like an Indian cosmetic surgeon a picture of Elliot Roger and say, this is the most supreme gentleman. I want to look like him. Here is my father's credit card. And the guy is just like, okay, you will be down for six hours. At the end of it, I will give you a 7-Eleven Slurpee and some lidocaine. Have a nice day, sir. And then he woke up and he was just Elliot Rogers. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.